We'll get to it in a second. And out with a right hand in the first walked out of the corner. Knock him out right away. Kirkland's been dropped a bunch of times in the first round. Keep him warm. Big match. Tapia just landed a solid lay lands a right on the jaw. Kirkland hasn't gotten going yet. Tapia is hitting him and hitting him. And Tapia hadn't been able to think about before he just rushes in. And now who? Walked across the ring and started firing at Van Kirkland. And he, he got a real mouth. close, Jim. He got very close. Kirkland, when he's cold early, before he starts to really heat up. Now he's starting to warm up and let his hand. Friends. Body chops by Tapia. Now he goes to plan B. Lands a left hook upstairs. Here comes Kirkland. Uppercut. Uppercut. Left hand for Kirkland. Straight right hand by Tapia. Stops Kirkland in his tracks. More bombs. Both guys throwing bombs. Almost a minute still to go on the round. Bunch of times, but even when he got stopped, he always gets up. Body shots by Kirkland. Landing. Landing. Now Tapia has to cover up. He's just missing that overhand left, Kirkland. But he's landing the body shots. Gets in an uppercut. Tapia has stopped throwing as the round comes to a close. It was all Glenn Tapia for the first two minutes. It was all Kirkland. You heard Tapia's trainer, Alex Zevia. Yeah, was waiting for a, a pause in Kirkland's attack, but once Kirkland gets warmed up, there are no pauses. Now it's Tapia who's going to the body after Kirkland scored with the body punches down the stretch. And for letting the fighters decide the outcome, he'll consult ringside physicians when necessary. Told as to which referee they wanted to see refereeing a fight like this. I don't think there's any question. They would choose Smogan. Stay up, These James. are two guys. And the right instructions, keep coming forward, but come behind your jab. And right now, he's still leaping in, and that's why he's getting caught with big shots. Tapia looks very composed. Hasn't wilted at all yet under Kirkland's pressure. That's it. But already the, the fight, the tenor of the fight's changed Stay a bit up, from the first round where Tapia tried to cur catch Kirkland cold and seemed to hurt him. Now it's Tapia who looks bothered by Kirkland's left hand. Kirkland is a big puncher. He's a heavy puncher. You can hear those shots landing. Tapia can't be on the ropes giving up those kind of shots. Tapia wobbles into the ropes as Kirkland catches him with a straight shot. Now Tapia shaking his head at Kirkland as if to say, no, no, you didn't get me. That's not enough. He's got to get off those ropes if he's going to contend with this guy because Kirkland's going to keep coming. Send the judges home. Tapia this is on, not going to be a decision. On wobbly legs, throwing bombs right back. This is the kind of fight Kirkland likes, and this is the kind of fight Tapia said he wanted. He got what he asked for tonight. Stay up, James. Stay up. <laughs> Good body shots by Tapia. A left and a right. Kirkland lands that overhand left. Right on the chin. The start has gone out of Tapia's right hand. When he lands his right hand now, it's not nearly as thunderous as was the case in round one. Kirkland's got him trapped in the corner, and he's wailing away. Good left hook to the body by Kirkland seemed to hurt Tapia. Just a little bit. And he's coming back to the head. He's hurting Tapia. Good counter shot by Tapia. Firing away to the body. He rallies at the end of the round. Of 103, Tapia 24 of 72. Unless Tapia can really hurt Kirkland with something on the way inside. I don't see how he changes this fight. Kirkland's been imposing a match, like you said. And now Kirkland is going to the body and back to the head. And that can spell trouble. Well, Tapia has a warrior spirit. I mean, there's no two ways about it. But, but it, you know, Kirkland wins these kind of fights. This is a James Kirkland fight. again. See if he can back Kirkland into the corner. Kirkland lands his left. Tapia's still throwing. And Kirkland against the ropes. Both guys are wobbly. That's what Tapia needed to hurt Kirkland with something coming in. And he did hurt him. But he wobbled as well when Kirkland fired back. So far, it's the fight of the year. Unbelievable stuff from these two guys.
Tapia, a different... Tapia feels punched out right now. He doesn't seem to be able to throw. Kirkland lands an uppercut. I don't know if Tapia has ever been in a fight like this. This is James Kirkland territory. Kirkland coming in now with his hands down, though. Really exposing himself to counters. When Kirkland went down in the first 30 seconds against Alfredo Angulo in Cancun. There was a thought, well, all right, he got knocked out by Ishida. He's gone now. He recovered in that round and came. Just two big punchers giving it everything they have. This is what you call a war of attrition. Yeah, and it looks like the attrition has affected Glenn Tapia more. He doesn't seem to be able to throw anything with authority now as round three comes down the stretch and Kirkland is landing over and over and here comes Tapia again. What a fight. Vicious and strange from both What a hands. fight in Atlantic City. After they saw their son take 61 power shots from the fists of James Kirkland in the third round. And where a normal fighter, even a normal good tough action fighter, would start to accept their fate in a fight like this, Tapia continues to load up on big shots and go back at Kirkland just when it looks like he's about to get steamrolled. You guys told how you have it through three. I have Kirkland up by one point. A lot of punishment already in this fight. Kirkland takes punishment because he comes in straight with his head up, and Tappy is taking punishment because he's fighting James Kirkland. Kirkland's fights are pretty easy to score. Either he's in control or the other guy. He's in control in rounds two and three. That was the best line of your broadcasting career. Tapia takes punishment because he's fighting James Kirkland. That's it. Even though Tapia is still dangerous, and he's still looking for big shots right now. Kirkland has tightened up his defense just a little bit as he's warmed up. The, the, the thing is, Tappy is mostly missed with those big shots he's fired back at Kirkland with, but Kirkland still has his hands down. If one of those connect, it could change the fight, as it momentarily did a couple rounds ago. It's four rounds. It feels like it's already been 15. But I think he's a little bit more warmed up now, so he's taking his shots a little bit better. Good body shot by Kirkland again. It's the left uppercut. If you've just tuned in, this is boxing after dark. James Kirkland with his back to you. Glenn Tapia with his back on the ropes. Tapia is the Jersey boy from here in New Jersey. Up the road at Passaic, 20 and 0 coming in. James Kirkland with his 31 and 1 record after another long layoff, one of several in his career, trying to come back under the tutelage of his spectacular trainer, Ann Wolf. And the first three rounds have been an all-out, unbelievable war. Those little uppercuts on the inside from Kirkland are really taking the fight out of Tapia now. Yeah. Tapia's taking punishment right now. The body language doesn't look good. He's got an iron chin because Kirkland is a good puncher, but the body language doesn't well, look good. No one good has right an now. iron body, and that's where Kirkland's really setting up those headshots. Kirkland's landing his power punches over and over. He landed 61 in the last round. You wonder how much punishment Tapia can take. You wonder how much punishment Steve Smoker is going to allow him to take in what has become, as Andre Ward very accurately said, a brutal war of attrition. smoker has got to keep a good eye on, on Tapia. I know this is a big fight. He doesn't want to jump in too soon, but the kid is taking punishment right now, and he's not responding. Yeah, war of attrition don't normally happen between knockout punchers because when they land this much, someone's on their back. But here, it is a war of attrition, and both guys are, especially Kirkland, throwing big knockout punches. In the third round, he landed 73 of them. Now, it's beyond the point where he can box. He's basically spent, but he's going to try to knock Kirkland out here. He just hurt Kirkland. He hurt Kirkland again with a left hook. He gives the crowd a tremendous thrill with those two left hooks. Because this is a guy who didn't show up to lose, even if he's losing. He's going to give it his best shot. If this is his last hurrah. If he doesn't do it right here, it may spell trouble and this fight may be over. Just missed with the right punch twice out, punch at out. the outset. Now Kirkland has him in the corner again. And Tapia there man. recognized my back's on the ropes. That's where it's bad for me. Let me get off these ropes. It's not just the punches that Tapia feels, it's the physical strength. He can't get off the ropes because James pushes him back. Two good good left tap. It's beyond boxing now. And as broadcaster and trainer Teddy Atlas says, you know, there's such a thing as a game loser. Tapia is, there's no, he's game, but there's no loser in him. He's still trying to win. That's right, no quit at all. He's taking shots, but these are not fully leveraged big shots. 
of the kind that Kirkland was landing the last couple of rounds. Vicious body shot a few seconds ago from James Kirkland. And there's another one oh, right there. Those body hard. shots are the things that have really done it in this fight, I think. Those short uppercuts to the gut. And then back to the head. You're absolutely right, Matt. Another one down low and a sweeping right hook from Kirkland to the head of Tapia. I love the heart from Tapia, but they got to keep a close eye on him right now. Taking a lot of punishment. Yep. Lands another left hook. And James is walking through his best shots right now. That's something Smoger has to take into account. Glenn Tappy is landing punches, and they're having no particular effect on James Kirkland. Although, earlier in the round, you heard Andre Ward say that he hurt him with a left hook. He threw a left hook that sent blood flying out of Kirkland's mouth. Kirkland is what you call in the zone right now. He's eating all the big shots. Even if he wobbles, he's in the zone. He can smell blood, and he's closing the distance and, and, and right he's now. Giving, he's giving Tapia a frightful beating. You have to wonder what it's like for Glenn Tapia's parents to sit in the front row and watch their son eat this kind of leather from a hard puncher like James Kirkland. They can be proud of the courage, though. No shortage of that. But maybe we've seen enough now. There's no quitting Tapia. Maybe someone needs to quit for him. Punches on Glenn Tapia. This is a dangerous and difficult fight to watch in Atlantic City. It's spectacular. It's brutal. It is damaging to both fighters, but especially it would appear to Glenn Tapia so far. Kirkland can smell it. He can sense it. The end is near. It's enough. I mean, I mean the corner. The problem is the corner knows how tough their guy is, and they're being as tough as he is. But they need to protect him. It's Smoker to do it. Seconds away. His body seconds away. That's enough. Steve Smoker is about to reach in, oh, and he's he going to stop it right too. there at the moment when Kirkland landed a flush shot on the chin of Glenn Tapia. It's over. And Tapia's out on his feet right now. That was as James Kirkland as James Kirkland can get. Got to keep an eye on Tapia now. He took two.